Temperatures are nice, but they bring tick season, and with those bugs, there is a risk of disease. Miana Massey speaks with the Maryland Department of Health as they are encouraging folks to take simple precautions to prevent illness caused by infected ticks. May is Tick-Borne Disease Awareness Month. David Crum, the state's public health veterinarian, says as temps heat up, the risk of transmission increases. They've been dormant all winter. They haven't fed. Now they're actually warm enough to get out there. So that's where the risk, you know, and the potential exposure really occurs. It's just, you know, due to the environmental factors promoting their activity, but also when it's nice, we want to get outside. Ticks are often found outdoors in leaves, weeds, tall grasses, shrubs, and woods. There are a few things you can do to protect yourself while still enjoying nature. Consider wearing light clothing. You want to be able to spot ticks if they do on your get on your clothes much more easily. Wear long pants, wear, you know, tuck in your pants to your socks or your boots to prevent ticks from getting access. And again, consider wearing either uh, permethrin treated clothing, which will actually help repel those ticks, or an EPA approved insect repellent. Other tips include showering after being outside, putting clothes directly in the dryer on high heat, and performing a tick check. Here are some of the symptoms to look for. It's a rash, which typically looks like a bullseye. Uh, if you develop fever, headache, maybe joint pain, fatigue, those are the signs really to kind of look for. Lyme disease is the most prevalent tick borne disease in Maryland. Crum says don't forget about protecting your pets. Speak to your veterinarian about ways you can prevent um, you know, tick exposure to your pet because that's a, an avenue for the ticks to get into your house. So by protecting them, you are also help safeguard your family and yourself. Tick-borne disease is very responsive to treatments and can be cured if caught early. I'm Yana Massey for WJZ.